Stop playing with them Hi, I'm Nicola Cairncross. Welcome to my podcast. This is where we talk about entrepreneurship, digital marketing, being a digital nomad, and much, much more. I really hope you enjoy the show. Let's start then. So welcome to the What's Work, What Didn't, and What's Changing show. I do this every week, sometimes live on YouTube, sometimes live on Facebook. And it basically is my way of being accountable to myself and my business. And it was taught to me by a very successful entrepreneur, Benny Gray of the Space Organization. Never forget to name name check in. Basically, I go through my week. It's as simple as that. And I work out what's worked, what didn't and what's changing. And this week's been an extremely good week, very productive week indeed, uh, unlike last week. (laughs) So uh, I got my mini chat working. I spoke to the support people. Um, Somebody complained that he wasn't able to send me the word masterclass on Facebook, uh, DM me uh, to get access to the free version of the masterclass. Uh, but he said that he would. He was told that he had to follow my page, and he thought he was following me, but he wasn't sure if that was my page or my profile. And many chats say that no, you don't have to be following a page in order to be able to send a DM to the page, and for the automation within many chat to kick in to send him the link to watch the masterclass. So not quite sure what happened there, but many chat assure me that it's working, and they did a test to prove it to me. So that was pretty good. Uh, the low I've got. Um, a a new guide two versions of it i've got a version for digital nomads and it's called the freedom formula guide which is a bit cheesy but um i think it sums up what it's all about so the digital nomad version they're two pound 50 by the way these guides and they're about 22 pages long and they are pretty different to most of the guides out there so it's not just got content in it which is drawing from my experience of having worked and lived abroad, driven across America, um, run a business in uh, while living in Greece for a few years, and also while speaking in Australia, on a speaking tour of Australia. So it uh, can be done, and I've done it. <laughs> and I've come across, uh, I came across quite a few hurdles while I was doing it. It's particularly in Greece, there was that was quite challenging on occasions. But on, in other ways, it's a lot easier than you expect it to be. You don't have to sell up everything in the UK and go and buy somewhere somewhere else. You can literally, um, if you've got a property here, you can rent it out and then go and rent someone some, somewhere else to see if you like it. So there's a digital version, a digital nomad version of the Freedom Formula Guide. And there's a business version of the Freedom Formula Guide for people who never intend to go and live and work abroad. If you come over to nicolacarenext.com and uh, forward slash Freedom Formula Guide, you'll find it. Uh, they've got some secret ingredients in them that nobody else has got in their in their guide. So do go and check that out. It's well worth £2.50 of anyone's money. I created a load of custom AI bots for my clients. And essentially, uh, I went and I created my own private bots uh, using ChatGPT. And I fed into it uh, particular information and particular content, and I fed in specific instructions so that the chat GPT wouldn't overwhelm my clients. And um, so that's from a year and a half of using the thing. Um, I've really found out I've really found out how to hone the prompts now so that they really work for people. I put out a list on uh, Facebook of of the ones I'd made and asking my followers on there if anyone wanted anything else that wasn't shown. And by far, the thing that most people wanted was to actually for me to show them how to make the 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 bots themselves for their clients. So that's interesting. So I'm going to do a mini um, training on that, I think. And uh, I'm looking forward to doing that next week. And I also um, opened up some of the previous trainings I've done that are really good. I've opened up my profitable online courses, how to tell if your course will sell before you ever make it. And the masterclass, as I say, and also um, I'm going to put all the how the AI bots in one little membership. So for perhaps 10 or a month, you get to use all 10 of my personally designed and created bots. So let me know in the comments below if that would be of interest to you before I set it up. I do like to find out if people will actually buy things before I set them up. The big change this week is the Facebook ads. Now, this is really, really crucial that you pay attention to this. I have not been able to run Facebook ads for a very long time because they've been just too expensive and didn't convert. But I've been experimenting this week because I heard about um, a big change that's happened to Facebook ads. Basically, the algorithm for Facebook ads has completely going away from the instructions you give it. And it's going to towards 
um, audience interests. So if you put in, for example, you want to advertise to MDs and CEOs or people who describe themselves like that as a job title, and um, you want to only advertise to people over 35 and people interested in fly fishing, for example, um, Facebook algorithm is going to take not much notice of that. It's going to might use that as a guide initially, but it's going to then use interest based algorithm to find the people to advertise to. Now, this is a bit of a gold rush at the moment because it's still in the early stages and uh, you've got a chance to get your ads out for, I mean, I'm really not paying very much. And there's another thing I learned this week that if you want to test something, it's best to test it on worldwide, excluding the Five Eyes countries. So worldwide, excluding the USA, the UK, Australia, New Zealand and Canada. Um, but target it to English speaking people worldwide so that you um, and you could exclude China if you wanted to. I'm not sure if Facebook even exists in China, does it? But yes, I, I would exclude China. So that's a, a good way of getting really cheap traffic to test whether your offer is of interest. So I did it with the Freedom Formula Guide and it was very of interest. And I, I was getting literally I was getting clicks for 0.01 of of a pound, which was quite incredible. Um, I was using video as well, so I was optimizing for video views, but um, now what I was doing was creating an audience. And then you can create a big audience very quickly for no hardly any money at all. And then you can use that audience to create a lookalike audience in each of the countries you want to advertise to. So your worldwide audience of English speakers who are, may or may not be interested in certain things create you an audience that you can then create a lookalike audience in the UK, in the US, in Canada, in Australia and New Zealand. And I'm just about to test this week the lookalike audiences in the Five Eyes countries. So see what you think of that. But do bear in mind that it's now becoming um, less expensive to advertise because everyone's doing it wrong. And it's also um, becoming uh, better to let Facebook choose your audience rather than try and specify too tightly who you want to advertise to and you'll get much cheaper ads so yeah i put up my freedom formula guide to um to see if i can get some sales for that and that's really exciting what didn't work this week well active campaign what's going on really what is going on apparently a lot of people are leaving active campaigns so they're putting their prices up dramatically and when i went in to create um an automation the other day i couldn't make an email to put in the automation and when I look at all my other automations it says that the emails aren't sending because they haven't got an address well do they mean the address of the person it's going to my address what does it mean I've done all the jiggery pokery with setting up my outgoing email address so that it goes through the servers properly so what what is this message I've sent it into active campaign customer support and I've not heard a dicky bird back so my automations do seem to be working but they say that they're not and you can't edit or save or create a new email in active campaign right now in, a, in the automations anyway. I was able to create a campaign all right, but not in the automations. So that is not good because I've already been thinking of moving because it's getting so expensive. Yeah, I had a big knockback this week. <laughs> We were paying for a service that is not going to be delivering the second part of the service that actually was really worth quite a lot of money to me. So not good. Very, very had to move on quite quickly mentally from that one and not think about it too much. So what's changing? Well, I am oh, I keep thinking of moving to kit.com rather than active campaign, and it's so much work. To, I mean, I've got... I've got a really clear idea of the, the product funnel I've got now for people. Essentially, I've got my um, various reports on the front end that take people into the first offer, which is the Freedom Formula Guide, either for digital nomads or business owners. Then people get offered one of the trainings, which is um, uh, either the profitable online courses or the masterclass, which is a bulletproof your business for 19 to 1995. What am I like? Uh, 2000 and I've got no idea what date it is this is terrible isn't it 2020 2024 2025 that is really bad isn't it I've got number dyslexia and it's getting worse as I get older so yeah so people can um, buy the buyer training course which is around 50 quid or they can sign up for my membership which is the extraordinary Entre entrepreneurs club 
Um, and they get all of the bots included. Um, that's a value of £100 a month in itself if you took each one separately. And it's also got all the training courses included. And also you get to turn up and talk to me once a week or live on a Zoom call. So if you're looking for a mentor, an affordable mentorship and one that's got lots of great trainings in it, then look no further than my Extraordinary Entrepreneurs Club. And obviously, for people who then want to work one to one, like people like Neil Asher and Dodge Woodall, who I've worked with in the past, Andy Shaw, Bernadette Doyle, people like that, then um, there is the one to one option as well. So just let me know what you want. If you don't know what you want or what you need, come to the site and sign up for a triage call, as I call them, and I'll prescribe something for you. Anyway, I hope you found this interesting and useful. I hope that you do something similar in your business every week to make sure you're moving forwards. And I hope you found the Facebook ads information interesting because I haven't heard anyone else talk about it. So I could be first to um, talk about the changes there and do make use of that worldwide exclude English speaking worldwide, excluding the five eyes countries for testing new offers. See you next week. You've been listening to Nicola Cairncross of NicolaCareNext.com. Well, I hope you enjoy the show today. We've got lots of resources on the website, so do come over to check them out. And by all means, feel free to book yourself into my diary at nicolacarenext.com forward slash diary. I love to talk to entrepreneurs.